in the great, look, when Christ was crucified, we went by the Greco Roman calendar, which is the same calendar to the day. The same calendar today when Christ was walking, that's what we're going by. So now, it's seven days, which is the Sabbath. Yeah, we just answer you. You ain't trying to hit, you don't want to hear the answer. Right. It's the same. It's the same day that when Christ, when Christ was walking around on the Sabbath. Right. It's the same you know? Sabbath, which is Saturday, right. which is the seventh day of the week. Look at your phone. You got a phone? I got a phone. Put your phone out. I don't need Somebody that. Somebody saw me. I know bit. Saturday is considered the Sabbath I understand day. what you're saying. I know that. Right. Right. I know that. Right. right. Who wrote that calendar? No, what you mean now? Who wrote that calendar? Who wrote that calendar? Who wrote anything? What, what's your no, point? I mean, I'm not disagreeing with that. nothing you're saying. Yes, sir, you're trying to disagree with it. I'm asking questions. Go to Deuteronomy 725. Let me show you something. Bring it up. I mean, I'm sorry, Daniel 725. Bring it out. So Bring my it thing up. is, look, it's the seventh day of the week. So my thing is, you still got to keep it holy, right? Yeah, you so are you know. keeping it holy? Are you keeping it holy? That's if I believe in Bring it Matter of fact, give me all uh, uh, Judges 5 and 11. Bring it up. Yeah, so okay, you still got to keep the commandment. You got what about your beard? I'm not disagreeing. I'm not okay, okay. I'm not but let's get that. So now, since we, you got me right around chasing you, so now you sit right there. Let me get you the scripture to show you about don't buy and sell on the Sabbath day. How about that? Give me that in nearby. Okay, so don't Now watch this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to hit. Don't try to walk off now. Well, you try to slide because you don't want to hit. I'm not going to Okay, nowhere. all right. Stay right there. But, uh, all right. I do got okay. a hug this point, man. Uh, and I, um, but, uh, okay, but listen to this. That's on Saturday. Okay, but listen to this. Okay. Read what you got. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. And if, the, and if the people of the land bring where or any virtual. It said if the people of the land bring anywhere or virtual. Say for instance, they got a hat stand, they got they got a hot dog stand, they got something that they selling. Right. It said if the people of the land bring anything they selling. On the seventh day. On sell. what day? On the seventh day to sell. That we would not buy it of them on the seventh day. We did what? We're not buying of them on the seventh day. We won't buy, so we won't, we won't supposed to be walking around here with white bags and black bags. Right. That's because we don't know. You understand right. what I'm saying? We ain't come out here to bash our people by that, but we coming out here to bring you back to greatness. Right. That's to right. bring you back yeah. to being the kings of the earth. Right. right. We got to come back to these commandments. Yep. You understand right. what I'm saying? Give me first Kings 8. Yeah, we got yeah. to come back to these commandments. Hey, big dog, right there with right. the dress. Come here real quick. I want to ask you something. Don't run out. I, I see you. I don't want you to slide out just yet, big dog. Right. We need, because look, right. think about it. Let me ask you this. Why are they kidnapping all our sisters? Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Why? Why are they and, 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 is anybody doing something about it? Nope. Why we ain't doing nothing about our daughters? We talk about it. We talking, talking about, about we, talking we about looking it. for our daughters. Right. But my thing is, I just want to throw that out there because, look, it takes us as men to stand up for our nation. Yeah, right. we, can't yeah, always, right. we can't always tell about, oh, I'm finna go, I gotta go. Okay. No, listen to the importance of your nation. Right. Right. Look around, your nation needs you, man. Right. Right. You're an older man. You supposed, look at, look at, you know your generation, you wasn't like nothing like now. Right. right. So my thing is, either you gonna be contributing to the negativity, or you gonna be a positive. Enforce for right. that generation. Which one are you doing? Right. I'm That's why we need you. We yeah. need our older right. man to be in right. there regulating right. stuff. Right. But now let's right. watch it. I just want to give me that. What I got you going? Give me songs real quick. Ninety four sixteen. Cause yeah. the Bible, the Bible talking about you men. You know, you know, we gotta wake up first as men here and stand right. up. That's the first thing. That's the first thing. Our sisters gonna get right. But guess what? Say for instance, if we been a whole mother. If we been a, a, a adulterous man, what do you think our sisters gonna do? What do you think they gonna be? They gonna follow this. You gonna make them. You, even though she a good girl, you know how they say a good girl gone bad. Yeah. Okay, Same as if you was a pimp player and she was a good girl for ten years, you think she gonna continue to be a good girl with you? No. She gonna she gonna t take them same characteristics right. that you gave her. Right. Right. So now. Vice versa. When you get in these scriptures and learn that you got to stand up as a man and stand up for the Most High God and serve Him and love Him, what do you think she gonna do? She gonna take. She gonna stand up and you know what I'm saying? Keep going for it. So right, now this right. is Bible scripture talking to y'all, man. Read to y'all. Psalm chapter ninety-four, verse sixteen. Who will rise up for me? God said, Who will rise up for me? Why does God got to ask who will rise up for me? If God got to say. Who? Where y'all at? Who? Somebody please, where yet? Who? Who? Who gonna do it? Who gonna stand up for me? That's bad. That's been we in the back. You shouldn't have to do that. That's 
They let you know we're in a dire need of our men standing up. Watch this, read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? It said against the evildoers. So now, sister, what does that man got to do if he goes, what does this man got to do if he got to go against the evil? What him, what he got to be himself before he go against the evil? He got to be a man. He got to have himself right first right. before he can go against the evil. Before he can do anything. Before he can do anything, he yeah. got to get the evil out of him. Right. You understand what I'm saying? That's right. So read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Hey, let me get that in Joel with the mighty man. What that is? Three and nine. Three and nine. Three and nine. Let me show you the Bible gonna deal with you men because we the ones got to get this thing in order. Right. It start with the man first. He the head. We got to get this thing in order. Right. We right. want to be the head when we telling our women to do all the evil, dirty stuff. Bring it out. But no, not the responsibility on you now, Jack, right. to love God. Right. The responsibility on you to treat her right. You know what I'm saying? Right. To get yourself right. To treat her right. To treat the kids right. That's how we build our nation back up. One family at a time, we build our nation back up. Right, right. Watch this, what you got? Joel, chapter 3. Let's see what God say about you, mighty man. What's your name, big dog? Bronson. Huh? Bronson. 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 Bronson, okay. Bronson. Now, I got you, right? Now, what's your name? Get your name. Done. Yeah. Daddy, let's see what the Bible says about the men. Root you got. Joel chapter 3, verse 9. Read it out. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Do what? Prepare war. God said prepare war. Not, not, not what you're thinking. Picking up some guns and knives. No. That ain't the war. The war is spiritual. Right. Now watch this. Read what you got. Wake up the mighty men. What God say do? Wake up the mighty men. What God say do? Wake up the mighty men. So God say, wake up the mighty men. That's right. That's right. That's right. Wake up the mighty men. He, you ain't just a regular man walking on this earth. Right. That's right. right. You're not a regular man. They told us we was Negroes and colored and black, right. and we came from monkeys. Right. 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 Guess what? That's Bring all a lie. Right. That's, that's, that's all a lie. You the greatest, oh, oh, you the greatest oh, man that ever walked the face of the earth. That's right. You right. the right. 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 Don't you come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Right. King David, right. King Solomon, right. 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 look like you. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Read that again. Pro proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare work. Wake up the mighty men. So wake up the mighty men. If God said, wake up the mighty men, what are the men doing, sister? What are the men doing? If God got to say, wake up, mighty men, what are these What are these men doing? Doing their job. Huh? They ain't doing their job. They sleep. They right. They sleep. If God say, wake up the mighty man, that means you sleep. That means if I come in and wake you up, and you wake you up, I, you will sleep. Right. What do you sleep to? We sleep to knowing that we the kings of the earth. Right, right. Let's show you that you're the kings of the earth, and it's a reward for you kings. Let's show you that real quick. Give me all wisdom of Solomon 3 and 5. Bring it up. Bring it up. I just want to show you this. We got to come back to our nationality. Yeah, you see the chart right here? Yeah. Everything is on the, on the left is where God called us. Bring it out. Everything is on the right is what the slave master called us. Bring it out. God called us Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Yeah. When the white man conquered us, they called us Negroes or black or colors or African American. Right. When they went to the island of Jamaica, they, they called them Jamaicans. Right. No, they're not Jamaicans. They're from the tribe of Benjamin. Bring it out. If Paul was alive today, he'll be a so-called Jamaican. Right. If, if Moses was alive today, he'll be a so-called Haitian. Guess what? If Jesus was alive today, guess what he'd be called? Jew. If Jesus was alive today, he'd be called so-called African American. But right. you're right. He, he's from the tribe of Judah. Right. So right. that means you right. from the tribe of Judah. I'm from, we from the tribe of Judah. You from the tribe of Judah. Right. Why did that start? What do you mean, why did what start? That, that part, well, what Jesus was called, would be called the tribe of Judah. You said Who was this, What happened with David's son? David's son? What do you mean? David's son. Solomon? David, no. Um... Hey, let's stay on program because you're going to give me our program. Okay. I want you're going to give me our program. Watch the rules you got. Hey, we Wisdom of Seven, chapter 3, verse 5. Look it up. Have a big a little chest. They should be greatly, greatly rewarded. So we're going to be greatly rewarded. We've been a little chest ties, man. We've been going through some stuff. Right. Ain't nobody, don't nobody get it worse than a black man. Right, right, right. right. The, not the Chinese, not the white man, not the Arab man, but you black man. You hated by your own people? Right, right. 
You hear about the other men, the other right. nation? Right. In right. right. your own, in your own. What, no, what, what, what you got to go? What, what? The time running short. Time running short with God coming back. Give me something real quick. Wait a minute. I'm going to show you the time running short. Romans 13 and 11. Let me show you this real quick. Time is running short. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Then I'm going to let you walk away. No, I'm going to listen to this. I'm going to listen. Your wife good? You good? I'm going to listen to it. Okay, but listen up, big dog. I've seen you before. Read what you got. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Bring it up. Knowing the time. They know it is high time to awake out of sleep. He said, knowing the time, it is high time to wake out of sleep. When they say high time, it means it's very close. You need to wake up right now. Right right the there. time is now. Watch this. For now is our salvation nearer than we, than when we believe. He said, our salvation is nearer than right. when we believe, meaning he's closer than we think. Right. Not no white Jesus coming to save you. That's yeah. a lie. Right. We're right. talking about a black Messiah that look like you That's coming right. back for you. Right. Because right. you're the one going through the oppression. Right. You're the one that got 64,000 black sisters missing. Right. Yeah. And America ain't put no ammo alerts all around the right. world. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're the, one, you're the one that got the bad foods in your hood. You're the one that got the bad roads. You're the one living in the projects. Right. You don't want to get discriminated on trying to get a job just because you got dreadlocks. Right. Or just because you black, period. You understand what I'm saying? You the one who's oppressed. Right. So he's coming back for us right. to deliver us out of the captivity that we was yes, brought in. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. The two men got to wake up. We got to stop being foolish. Give me that in um, Luke 7 and 35. Ain't that what I want? Luke 7 and 35 about the marketplace. 31. We got to stop being like, look, kid, Christ got on us. Christ got on, Christ got on us as being... The kings of the earth, but we playing around. Right. right. Watch this. Read what you got. Luke chapter 7, verse 31. And the Lord said, Where unto What did the black Messiah say? Where unto then shall I liken the men of this generation? He said, What am I going to compare the men of this generation to? Now, I want you to answer this because, like I said, your generation, things were different. I bet it. But now, this generation, our generation, is, is messed up. It's going to get worse and worse. Think about the little kids that growing up got to see two women married. Right. Think about the, the, the boy got to see two men married together when he grow up. How you think he going to be? Where his mind going to be at? Oh, torn up. Torn up. Torn up. And where you think he going to raise his kid to be? Torn up. Torn up. So it takes you men right now to stand up and stop them through the word of God. Right. 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 But first you got to know you the greatest men on the face of the earth. You the Israelite man that God gave the Bible to. Right. You understand? Right. And to what are they like? They're like unto children sitting in the marketplace. God said, our men of this generation are like children sitting in the marketplace. Got to go somewhere. Got to go. Right. Where you going? Where you going when God's word is coming straight to you, talking to you? Right. right. What you got to do? What is better than the most high God's words? Right. Yeah, right. Nothing. Right. God said, we like, our generation like kids, kids in the marketplace. Right. They play too much. Right. They running around playing. We got to get serious. Because we got to come back and, re and help. You know God looking for the men to wake up first? That's when, when the men wake up, sisters wake up, that's when he come back. Because everything going to be in order. But if the men still running around like a marketplace, then you're going to continue to say, hey, Trayvon Martin, right. Mike Brown. Right. Give me some more names. Sandra Bland. Right. Who else? Give me something else. Tamir Rice, a little kid getting gunned down. When we stop playing for Lando Castile, when we stop playing like little kids in the marketplace and stand up and stand up for God. Right. Y'all understand? Watch this, read. And calling one to another, saying, We have pipe unto you. Now go back to Wisdom Solomon showing that you a king. Give me that in Wisdom Solomon 3 real quick. Is that what I want? 3? Would it tell me the king? I, I, I'm all over the place. Yeah, that one too. Uh, give, give me Wisdom Solomon 6 and 1. Read that. Wisdom Solomon. Chapter 6, verse 1. What does the Bible say about y'all? Hear therefore, O ye kings, and understand. He said, hear therefore, O ye kings, right. and understand. Understand that this is your Bible, this is your book. Your forefathers is in this Bible. Don't y'all know color in the Bible? Let me bring y'all a little closer to the Bible, just in case you may have been distant. Watch right. it. Let's, see, let's yeah. see what color Solomon yeah. is. Let's see what color King Solomon is. Then we're going to come back. Showing you that you're the king. Give me Psalms of Solomon 1 and 5 real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Give me Psalms of Solomon 1 and 5. Showing you I'm going to bring you closer to this Bible. Watch this. Read what you got. Psalms of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Yeah. I yeah. am black, but come. Solomon said what? Read verse 1. Verse 1. The Song of Solomon. The Song of Solomon. Meaning it's talking about Solomon. Which is Solomon? 
Now jump down the fire. Verse 5. I am black, but comely. He said, I am black, but comely. Black and handsome, or black and beautiful. That's us. Let's get some more real quick. Let's get some more out of the scriptures real quick to color. Let me get the opposite go over the color scriptures real quick. Where you at? Where you got? Job, give me Job 33. Let's see what color Job was in the Bible. Because this is what they don't teach us in Christian church. You know why? Give me, that, give, me that, give me that poster, somebody. Not you. Somebody come carry me that poster. You know why we ain't never heard these scriptures before? Because in the church, the white man is hanging all in your church. Right. Not only is a white Jesus hanging in your church, but the philosophy yep. of everything white is white right. is hanging in that church or right. hanging in our members or my mama or even us. When I was in the church, I never, I never even thought that black people was in the Bible. Right. You know how, how, that, how that happened? Because they the ones was in the church trying to teach us about God. Right. How is he going to teach us about God when he hang and rape us? For 300 plus con years continuing. Right. right. How is he gonna tell how he gonna get up a Sunday morning when he just raped my wife? Right. It's the truth it hurt, right? No, it hurt. But but check it out. I, ain't, I know you guys didn't want to go. I said I was done. But check, but but look, make sure you check that out, bro. Hey, 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 yeah, Don't leave yet, bro. Don't leave yet, bro. Who got an ear let him hear? It's the way Jesus might hear him. Now, my brother, because when you was growing up, have you ever, did you ever hear that Christ was black? Did you ever hear that Christ was black? Huh? Now when you was young, right? So do you know what color he is? Oh yeah, I know for sure. You know, is it a bot? Do I know what it's about? Let me get, hey, let me get the next option. He's going to explain to you what, what Christ looks like. You know, we got the next reader too? Hold on, I know you gotta go. I know you're doing the word of God, man. You gotta go? Yeah, I gotta now, go. Now, 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 let me ask you this. Because you came up, you came up spit the names and stuff, right? It's Hebrew. Yahshua is Jesus. I, I, I know you, if you want to call him Yahweh Shai, Joshua. Now, at the end of the day, we gotta keep the commandments. Right, right. Because watch this, get Proverbs 8 and the last verse. Right there. Yeah. At the end of the day, you gotta keep the commandments. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. Do, do you think the children of Israel, when they built that golden calf, do you think they knew the Lord, the Most High name then? Do you think they knew God's name then? I would say yeah. Yeah, they did. But why did they, why did they build a golden calf? Because, because it ain't about their name, it was about them actually doing what God said do. Right. God told them right. to do something. We gotta do it. Right. So now watch the real together. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. But he that sinned against me. So it said, he that sinned against me. What is sin? If you don't know where to get it, what is sin? I'm still yeah. cheating, uh, adultery, a lot of things. Okay. Of okay, all right. I deal with that, but watch this. Because that is, when you breaking that, when you you doing adultery, that is in sin. But let's get the definition out the Bible. Watch this, what you got? First John chapter 3, verse 4. Read up. Whosoever committed sin, whosoever, any one of us, commits sin, transgresses also the law. Transgresses the law, meaning we break the law. So if God say, don't, thou shall not kill, we kill, we, we, that's sin. If he say, don't steal, we steal, that's sin. You understand what I'm saying? Watch this. Read, now go back to Proverbs. Now go back to Proverbs. How you doing, my sister? We go. That's the reason why Jesus Christ came okay. because okay. we could not keep the commandments. Okay, we couldn't keep the commandments. Is that what the Bible says? Now what's the reason you got? That's what it says. Romans chapter 8 verse 36. Bring it up. But he that sinned against me, broke his own soul. All they that hate me love death. So he said, all they that hate me love death. If you don't want to love God, then you love death. Right. Now, sister said we can't keep the commandments. Now, let's see. Now, go to, uh, let's see what Christ said out of his own mouth. Bring it Not up. my mouth. Let's see what Christ said. Give me Matthew uh, 19. Bring it up. You, we got Bible. Somebody get our Bible. She said, I'm lucky she ain't got our Bible. Please, somebody give our Bible. We got about 30, 40 Bibles out here, sis. Sis, we got 30 Bibles out here. Now watch this. Let me show you something. But let's see what Christ said. Let's not talk about it. Let, let's not debate about God. Let's just go read what God said. Is that, is that fair enough? That's right. Oh, okay, sis. Okay, have you read this scripture? Read what you got. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Behold, what came he said unto him? 
Good master. One came and said to Jesus, what good things should I do that I may have eternal life? That I may have eternal life. That wait, 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 wait. Sister. So, uh, uh, watch this. But yeah, but he was he had money over keeping the commandments. Watch this. Read what you got. And he said unto him, What calls thou me good? There is no good but what that is God. But if thou willest enter into life, keep the commandments. So wait a minute, if you want to. If you want to get into the, if you want to get into what Christ said, if you want to get into the what, keep the what. Joshua six, do what, keep the commandments. Do what, keep the commandments. Do what, keep the commandments. So sister, Christ said keep the commandments. What you mean you can't do it? Christ told you to keep the commandments, sister. Give me first John two and three real quick. Sister, that's no words. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible speaking of that on sacrifices. What you talking about, sis? The Bible says never don't keep no commandments. Hey, what that scripture? Right. Don't keep no commandments. Man, read what you got. First John chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby we know that we know him. Hey, sister, watch this. Listen to the scripture as you walk away. I know you, you're feeling funny, but listen to the scripture. Read. If we keep his commandments. What did, what did the Bible say? If we keep his commandments. Read. He that, he that said, I know him, the, per, the person that said, I know the Lord, the person that says, I know the Lord, and keeping not his commandments, and don't keep his commandments, Teach because the sister teach. said, we ain't got to keep the commandments. If the sister said, we ain't got to keep the commandments, is a liar. What is that sister? Right. Is a liar. That sister said, we ain't got to keep the commandments. We can't keep the commandments. How you think we're gonna get the kingdom? How you think we're gonna get the kingdom? How did Matthew do what he said be perfect? Let's see what Christ said. Why did Jesus Christ the commandments? Let's see, he came for the animal sacrifices. Right. So we did so we didn't have mercy. You know why? Because back in the day of the law of sacrifice, listen, sister, you gotta listen. Listen first. Listen, because look, back in the animal sacrificial time, we would have got perfect. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>